Imagine you're on a game show. Three doors stand before you. Behind one door is a shiny new car, your dream prize. Behind the other two, goats. You pick one door, hoping for the car. Then, the host who knows what is behind every door opens one of the other two doors to reveal a goat. Now, you're given a choice. Stick with your original door or switch to the remaining unopened door. It might seem that there's a 50-50 chance now, but that is not the case. Today, we'll explain why switching is the better strategy and how this counterintuitive problem works. When you first choose a door, the chance that you pick the car is one out of three. That means there is a 1-3 probability that the car is behind your chosen door and a 2-3 chance that the car is behind one of the other two doors. The host's action of opening one door, which always reveals a goat, does not change these original probabilities. Instead, it gives you additional information. Since the host will never open a door with the car, if your initial choice was wrong, which is likely, given the 2-3 chance, you are left with the door that must have the car behind it if you decide to switch. Let's break it down further with an example. Suppose you play this game 100 times. Statistically, if you always stick with your original choice, you will win the car roughly 33 times out of 100. But if you always switch, you would win about 66 times out of 100. The difference is significant. In simple terms, switching doubles your chances of winning. Many people believe that after one door is opened, the remaining two doors have an equal chance of hiding the car, but that assumption ignores the host's role in the game. The host's knowledge is key. Because the host intentionally reveals a goat, the remaining door carries the probability of the unchosen options, which is 2-3. Even though it appears that you are choosing between two options, the initial odds still apply. Think of it like this, before any door is opened, your choice is based on a 1 in 3 chance. When the host opens a door, that chance doesn't vanish. It simply transfers to the remaining door. The host's reveal is not random. It is a deliberate act that shifts the odds in favor of switching. The counterintuitive part is that your intuition tells you that after one door is opened, there are only two doors left, so it should be a 50-50 shot. However, because the host's action is based on prior knowledge, the probability remains skewed. Another way to understand this is to imagine a scenario with more doors. Suppose there were 100 doors instead of three. You choose one door, and then the host opens 98 doors, all revealing goats. Now you are left with your initial door and one other door. In this case, it becomes even clearer. Your original choice had a 1-100 chance of being correct, while the other door now has a 99-100 chance. This extreme example highlights how switching dramatically improves your odds, and the same logic applies even when there are only three doors. The Monty Hall problem is named after the host of a famous game show, and it has puzzled many people, including experts. It teaches us a valuable lesson about probability and decision-making. Sometimes, what seems like common sense may actually be misleading. By understanding the underlying principles of the problem, you learn that taking action, in this case, Switching is the smarter choice. In conclusion, if you're ever faced with the Monty Hall problem, remember that your first choice only had a 1-3 chance of being right. When the host reveals a goat behind one of the other doors, the remaining door holds a 2-3 probability of hiding the car. Therefore, switching doors is the best strategy to increase your chances of winning. Now, ask yourself, when was the last time you made a decision based solely on your gut feeling? What if, like the Monty Hall problem, the best choice isn't the obvious one, but the one that comes from understanding the full picture. Sometimes, stepping back and rethinking the situation can reveal a better path forward. The next time you find yourself faced with a tough decision, remember the Monty Hall problem. Instead of sticking with your first instinct, consider whether switching might just give you the winning edge. It's a small shift in perspective that can lead to big rewards.